Hello students, I am Ishan Trivedi. Welcome you in the video lecture series. Today I am going to discuss about origin and destination survey. You can also call it as a OD survey. Here, in this session, I am going to cover various methods of OD survey. These methods are of roadside interview method, license plate method, home interview method or you can say house interview method, return postcard method and tag on car method. So let us first understand what is origin and destination survey. The origin and destination study is carried out mainly to know the origin and destination of various vehicles, whether it starts from its home and going to the workplace or school or any other places. In this study, the data collected are the number of vehicles, their origin and destination, where it has start from, what was the time, the number of passenger in each vehicle and their route has been noted. If I'm talking about the usage of OD survey, then it is to determine or you can say to judge the adequacy of existing route. Whether it gets spillover or any kind of modification has been done, then we can do OD survey. Then to establish the preferential route for the various category of vehicle, then location of new proposed road to locate the parking places, to locate the terminal and their facilities, to locate the expressway, the necessity of making one-way streets, whether it can be needed in the CBD area or near to the railway station where ample of vehicles are moving. So we require such things. Then to regulate the movement of heavy vehicles or you can say for the peripheral roads to locate the new bridges as per the traffic demands. So here there are various uses of this OD survey. Now as I said there are various methods of OD survey. I am repeating it again. These are of roadside interview method, license plate method, house interview method, return postcard method and tag on car method. Now from this survey what I will get from this OD survey I will draw the desire line diagram and it is very useful to plan the highway system in a region. So let us study these methods among all these we will study first the roadside interview method. In this method, the interview stations are previously decided on the roadway. Then the vehicles are stopped in a particular stoppage or you can say station for an interview and by group of people this will be taken and the answers to the prescribed questionnaire are collected on the spot. These are in the form of questionnaire and particular question has been asked to the driver from where they are coming or from which route they are taking. So let us study those things so that we can understand that in roadside interview what are the information has been collected and these includes the places and the time of origin, places and the time of destination. You can opt the route whether there may be ample of options that I have then location of stoppage that I will take during the journey then purpose of the trip, type of vehicle that I am using, number of passenger in each vehicle has been studied. The traffic may be filtered through a prescribed lane by previously warning signs and with the help of the police so that the each driver of the selected sample of the vehicle is been interviewed. Here in most of the cases the help of police has been taken and along the roadside it has been previously marked and by the warning side it has been given the information to the road user or the vehicle user and ultimately the vehicle will be stopped and the prescribed questionnaire or you can say question will be asked to that vehicle user. The percentage of sample interviewed out of the total traffic in each selected period should also be noted from the appropriate traffic volume and this study has been taken simultaneously. If I am talking about the advantages and disadvantages, here the data is collected quickly in very short duration. Here the field organization very simple, you can just put, put up 10 to 15 fellows team and start asking the question. The team 
can be trained easily because here the set question has been given and you have to follow the question pattern so it will be easier to train those staff members who are going to take the interviews then the disadvantage is the vehicle are stopped for the interview and that's why there may be delay to the vehicular movement then there is a resentment is likely to form the road users then undue congestion has been done and that may be result due to the stopped vehicle so these are the feature of roadside interview method now next is license plate method in this method the entire area under the study is cordoned out and the od survey are simultaneously stationed at all the points of entry and exit on all the routes leading to or out from the study area here in simple word in license plate method incoming road and outgoing road has been spotted by the team and here the od survey has been done by stationing for all the station points and entry and exit of all the routes has been noted each party or you can say team at the observation station is given a synchronized time pieces and they note the license plate number or you can say registration number of the vehicle entering and the leaving in the cordon area with the time as well so particularly in that once stretch of the road if vehicle is entering i will note its license plate and the time of entering that vehicle now what will happen here the separate recording sheets are maintained for each direction of the movement for a specified time and then after collecting the field data the major work is the office computation and the analysis and this will be done by tracking each vehicle number at its time of entering and leaving the cordon area now let us study the advantages and disadvantages of license plate method this method is quite easy and quick as far as the field work has been concerned then this method is quite advantageous when the area to be surveyed is very small in nature then you can say large intersection or a small business center that is one of the small study area for doing this type of study the field party can be easily trained as i told you in the roadside interview that it is easy to train all those fellows who are working in this od survey then if i'm talking about the disadvantages then it involves a lot of offices computation in the tracing the trips through a network of station there are ample of roads where one can take the uh, exit or entry and it is difficult to manage the tracking of all those records then large number of stations are required to get the information of various routes followed by their vehicles and at last a large number of teams are required when the area of the survey is large so this is the license plate method now let us study the home interview method in this method a random sample of 0.5 to 10 percentage of the total population is selected and then residents are visited by the trained personnel who collect the travel data from each member of the household here the detailed investigation has been done and this is also you can call a uh, socio economic data here the detailed information regarding the trips made by the members is been obtained on the spot and various family members details also been captured the data collected may be useful either for the planning of road network and other roadway facility planning and you can say mass transit requirement of the passengers as well if i am talking about the advantages of this home interview method these are of the problem of stopping of vehicles and their consequent difficulties are avoided the present travel needs are clearly known and the analysis has been done very simply then additional data including socio economic and other details may also be collected as i said and so as far to be useful for forecasting of traffic and transportation growth as well so this is the home interview method now next method is written postcard method in this method the prepaid business reply postcard with 
return address are distributed to the road users here i will stop the vehicle and just give the postcard that's it and this has been done at some selected points along the routes or you can say the cards are mailed to the owner of the vehicle the questionnaire to be filled in by the road user is printed on the postcard itself again i am repeating what are the data i will require i will just print those things on the postcard and those printed postcard is being given to the road user now along with a request for cooperation and purpose of the study as well you need to define your purpose why you are sending and a humble request has been done that just fill this postcard and return it now normally the postcard distribution stations are selected where the vehicles have to stop as in case of toll booth you can just stop the vehicle at toll plaza as they stop for the collection of toll if i'm talking about the advantages and disadvantages of this return postcard method then the advantages this method is suitable where the traffic is very heavy the personnel need not to be skilled or trained for the distribution of the postcard here you have to just distribute the postcard to the road user so the person that you are occupying for the distribution of the postcard is need not to be trained then the disadvantage here only a part of the road users may return the postcard promptly after filling it in their desired details properly and correctly it does not give a true picture then next method is tag on car method here in this method a pre coded car is stuck on the vehicle as it enters to the area under the study when the vehicle leaves the coded area the other observations are recorded on the card and this method is useful where the traffic is heavy and moves continuously but this method gives only the information regarding the points of entry and exit and the time taken to traverse area and that is one of the disadvantage of this study here i am ending the session i hope you have learned about the od survey and their various methods thanks for watching this video